today we are shooting Q&A session. Um, as you can notice, we're not in our place. We're actually outside. It's nice outside today, so we figured we uh, do the shooting outside, enjoy the weather. The scenery is really beautiful out here, and we have the whole New York City skyline to look at as well. Let's get right into it. So okay. Z posted on her Instagram any questions you wanted to ask us and we're using this time to answer, answer those those. questions so let's start with question number one so thanks to everyone that responded and sent us a bunch of questions we're gonna pick um a handful of them because a lot of them are the same questions how did you guys convince your parents about the marriage you want to go your parents and my parents <laughs> yeah so I mean, your answer is a lot more simpler than mine. So my mom, um, after she met Habib, she fell in love with him. Um, and my brother also, him and my, Habib and my brother are super close. So we, I automatically got their support. Um, but with my father, unfortunately, he was not um, convinced that... Oh, convinced. forgot to mention. Uh, we're a special guest here. I is here today. Yeah, she's just being a little fussy. Um, so with my dad, it wasn't as easy going. Um, so with my dad, it wasn't as easy going. Um, he basically didn't agree with us getting married and wasn't supportive of us uh, being together. So, you know, everyone in my family, including my dad's side, just not my dad, um, got to meet Habib and, and just meeting him and, and seeing his personality and the way he is around me and how he treats me. I think that convinced them enough to think like he was definitely the right match yeah. yeah yeah you know you're just perfect <laughs> but I guess on on my side um, I guess it was a uh, not as rough uh, obviously being a male um, compared to Z telling her family but um, I, was, I mean any with any culture right um, me being Nigerian my parents expected me especially my mom to be with a Nigerian woman but you know after getting to know Z um, after seeing that you know she takes care of me she is you know quote unquote wifey material um, you know she was you know fine with it um, and she was just really supportive she came to realize you know it is what it is we she sees true love and there's nothing she can do to come between us so the only thing she left only thing left she can do is accept it and support it so that's true all right someone said this is not a question but i just want to say that you guys are such an inspiration thank oh you. thank you thank you thank you thank you tk moon too for that nice note you know that means a lot because we are breaking social barriers being together um, and I think that's part of the message we're trying to portray in our channel we're trying to prove to everyone that this can work we work um, you know if you're willing to fight hard for it um, you know at the end of the day it's gonna work out and just my culture in general being accepting of someone outside of the race let alone someone that is taboo right that you know unfortunately when you marry someone that's white it is kind of a oh my god she married someone outside her race but it's not as bad as if you married someone outside of being white and and that's the unfortunate truth where i've had attended so many weddings of you know Bengali women just like me marrying white men and it's okay and you know being married to an african-american for some reason it's just like this taboo that's still going on in 2018 which blows my mind yeah 
We're two different races. It's interracial. Our child is biracial. It is what it is. A lot of people didn't like that we wrote interracial and biracial, but I mean, to Habib's point, we're not just doing this for just for for fun. We're doing this to show that it's okay to step out. It's okay to, you know, fall in love with who you want to, regardless of their skin color. And it's okay to have a baby that is now two races that is proof that love can and and will heal all of these racist people, all of these stigmas that we have in society. Do people look at y'all weird when you guys are out? Uh, That's a good question. Yeah, all the time. We get looks, double takes, uh, pause. But like, I'm like, hubby, we need to look dead at them again like just stare right back and see who's there and they'll continue staring yeah i mean now today we hardly even notice it because yeah. we've been dealing with it for years and then sometimes we have fun with it sometimes we would like follow them like yeah yeah what yeah um just for fun we would just go right in front of them like, yeah you could tell that they were like uncomfortable and we would just like stand right in front of them yeah just for fun because and, like, we just have hands yeah we're just having fun with them what were you both most nervous about when you found out you were expecting a baby? You go first. What was I nervous about? Uh, I would say... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'll go first. You go first. So, I was most nervous about the fact that I'm going to have a human being with me for life inshallah how we can acclimate to the fact that we're in charge of another human for the rest of our lives yeah for me i was just more nervous about the health aspect you know is the baby going to be okay healthy is my wife going to be okay healthy um you know pregnancy is a risk right um and you know anything can happen so you know all i can do is you know pray and 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 hope for the best and i guess prayers were answered because we have a beautiful child together now and z is just healthy but healing up right now yeah i'm still healing I'm like i'm like 75 percent there yeah all right next question What was a difficult aspect of interracial marriage and how did you both overcome it? Um, I guess the most difficult aspect was the family aspect. Yeah, I was right? just gonna say that. Um, we didn't care much about being accepted outside of our family. It was getting the acceptance within our family. Trying to explain to my parents, you know, this is the woman I'm going to marry. She's not a Nigerian, she's Bengali. Are they willing to accept that she makes me happy and I'm in love with her, right? That was at the back of my mind, you know, before announcing the, uh, the uh, engagement. And then also her side of the family, right? I haven't spoke to her dad ever since that, you know, that night. Um, how would I be able to approach him, you know, after that situation that occurred, right? You know, me being a father now to a daughter, that, you know, it's, it's now I'm, you know, understanding from his aspect, his perspective, you know, it must have hurt him a lot. And us being so young, you know, I'm just, you know, deeply sorry for that situation. It's hard enough to tell your parents that you want to get married, let alone someone that's outside of your race. And as difficult and as hard as you think it is to, to make that initial step and tell them, once you do it, it's so worth it because you're now standing up for yourself, you're standing up for your love, you're standing up for your man or your girl. And once you do that, it's you look back and you're like, okay, it was way harder thinking of doing it than actually doing it. 
What is your favorite memory together when you were younger? Favorite memory this together? This is a hard question. Because we have so much memories. Yeah. We, just to think, we never actually talked about what would be our, f- our favorite memory. We never talked about it. I have one. When we were younger? Or just in general? In general. Well, my, I, well, my favorite memory was when I proposed, right? Mm. I felt like that solidified our relationship. And to do it in another country and be really romantic. Yeah, and just s- us. And sort of, uh, uh, how should I say this? Try and live up to her dream, right? Of mm. being in Paris. And yeah. And uh, engage on the the, uh, the the love lot bridge. I think that that's my favorite memory from my perspective. Um, for me, my favorite memory is, and this is probably gonna be. Oh my god, she's literally staring at us so hard. My favorite memory. I don't know if you even remember um, when we took a trip yeah took a trip out east to Long Island it was like we just got like just some oh that random day we just like decided just for to a go weekend. out weekend yeah and we went to like the aquarium in Long Island yeah. and we like ordered in food and we just stayed in our hotel room that was a long time ago that was my favorite. Why? I don't know. I just like loved it. Out of all the special things, all the countries we've been to, Thailand. Yeah. All that. Yeah. Okay. Go I on, just going like out this. east long island. Go get <laughs> I just liked how simple it was. Okay. And how like much love we had. I just felt like that was that little trip was just filled with love. Gotcha. Well, I think what Z is trying to say is being able to express our love and be together, I guess that's what's key and her favorite aspect. Yeah, definitely. Okay, do you plan on having another baby in a year or two? <laughs> ah, that's funny. Funny you ask. Why is that funny? Because we have different answers. My answer is yes, I want to. Your answer is yes because you didn't push out one. It's easy for you to say. My answer is... Pending. My answer is pending and every day that goes by, I'm leaning more towards yes. But right now I'm still at a no. (laughs) I'm still at a no because... Why? I mean, I don't know, maybe 48 hours of labor plus all the pain chicken uh, all the pain that happened after i gave birth i could do the labor all over again i can do the pregnancy all over again it was the pain that happened after i gave birth and just that this past three weeks have just been so brutal you know your body goes through so much and on top of that You're not sleeping. Thank God my mom was here and I was eating right. But some people don't have that. And I don't know. I just, it was very traumatic. So at this moment. um, It's going to be a no for me. I'm going to get my way anyway. What is the name of your baby and the meaning? So... Uh, our baby's name is Aya Ianu Arije. So Aya means proof of God's greatness. Ianu means Ianu in Yoruba means miracle. And and just a background, Yoruba is a specific tribe within Nigeria, and it's a language as well. What do you guys both do for a living? We'll go first. Yeah, so um, f- what I do for a living, I am a international benefit specialist. So what that means is I manage the benefits 
for my company in three locations in their London office, um, Canada office, and Brazil office. So I only work on international uh, offices and nothing that is US based. Okay, and then what I do is I um, post at the corner of the street, <laughs> and when a car comes by, I just hop it. No, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's not I, funny. <laughs> Some people actually do that. <laughs> no, but I'm a IT portfolio manager. Um, what that is is basically I manage uh, financial and investments uh, aligned to specific initiatives to ensure the successful delivery of those initiatives, to ensure they align strategically to our goals, and budget annual planning as well. What is your advice? Save the best for last. Yep. But. What is your advice on maintaining a relationship for so many years? My advice would be um, for a healthy relationship that lasts a long time is that you know when there are fights, which there go there's going to be, when there are hardships, which is a given in any relationship, that you don't take the easy way out and, and the only option for us is to work at it. And, um, you know, the easy way out for us would be, let's just break up, let's get a divorce and start all over again with someone else. And I don't want that and I never had that in my mind as an option for us. Okay. I guess for me is communication and having fun with it. So communication is key. And when I say communication, I mean laying all your cards out, laying who you truly are, what takes you, yeah. what makes you happy, what motivates you, right? So that significant other know, you know, what not to do and what to do, right? In certain situations, um, you know, I tell Z, you know, sometimes Z can be stubborn sometimes, right? That's what you're I can say be say annoying. No, I can be stubborn sometimes. But if we have a fair understanding, okay, you know what? We have a disagreement, but we still love each other no matter what. Um, I think that's key, you know, having, making sure at the back of your mind, the love is still there. And if it's not, then, you know, you definitely have to consider something else. But if the love is still there, you shouldn't let any disagreement or argument come in between. And you shouldn't let anyone else come in between your relationship because there were, there will be outsiders that will come in between you, could possibly, could possibly come in between the relationship. Um, and then another part is having fun. You know, I'm, you know, always relaxed. Uh, joking, um, always trying to make her laugh, always trying to make her situation much easier. But your jokes are sometimes not funny. <laughs> They're actually mean. Uh, but I try to be, you know, different and funny um, just to make the light of any, you know, intense situation, serious situation. We can be in the most in intense argument, right? Me, I'm a nice, you know, soft guy. Well, not soft, but. I'm a, I'm just a nice soft. yeah okay I'm just a nice easygoing guy right I don't get I don't stay mad so with her I we can literally have an argument and then I can just literally be joking like the next two minutes right yeah but when he's really mad you're really mad and Habib's but mad is he just stays quiet yeah but I don't hold I don't hold anything no I stay quiet and then I express why yeah. I'm mad just so I hold in my feelings and not say anything I don't want to say. And I'm the total opposite. I say everything that's in the tip of my tongue. Yeah. And then I'm like, I'm sorry. I don't know why I said all that. Yeah. I didn't mean I'm it. I'm sure everyone knows when you're not in the right state of mind, in the you angry state of mind, you, you say right. things you don't mean to say, right? So that's what I learned also being in a relationship. Um, you know, learning from your mistakes. And that is key as well. So that's it on my end. Yeah. This that was fun. So that's all the questions. Uh, thanks everyone for submitting your questions. Thanks everyone for showing your love and support. Um, yeah, we love you guys and thank you so much for writing all those sweet comments and you know liking our videos and wanting to see more. It really means a lot and we're so happy doing this. I think it's like such a great opportunity for us, like a like a way of bonding for us as well. 
All right, guys, that wraps it up. All the questions that we received. Thanks so much for sending those over. And we'll definitely have future videos with more Q&As. Don't um, forget to like, subscribe, and, and comment below. Let us know what you guys think. If you want to see some more specific videos, let us know what kind of videos you want to see. Peace. Bye, guys. Say bye, Aya. Bye, baby doll. Bye-bye. Oh, she's covered with... <laughs>